The Lightning Network is said to be BTC's payment solution for transacting value in commerce. Up until now, we haven't had much support for mobile wallets actually allowing people to easily use this new technology. But recently, I've seen a lot of posts online of a new wallet that has just dropped onto the scene known as the Wallet of Satoshi by the Living Room of Satoshi website. So this new wallet is actually improving the user experience completely of Lightning Network and now enabling your average user to start using Lightning and transacting value in commerce at a merchant, uh, online or in person. I've been lucky enough to get the wallet ahead of release and so in this video you'll see a full breakdown of the user experience using this wallet of Satoshi, how it compares to the previous best Lightning wallet Eclair and then I'll be putting it head to head against Bitcoin Cash. There are three key metrics that I'll be analyzing in this video to determine which is the better solution or how effective each solution is in commerce. And these are onboarding, spending, and the reliability of the system. These metrics are important to look at for both Lightning and Bitcoin Cash because if they do not excel in these areas, then they have zero chance of achieving any kind of mass adoption. They need to be better than the existing systems put in place, like credit cards and bank accounts. And if they're not, then there's no reason for anybody to stop using those and take on board this new technology. So, this video will be the definitive guide comparing the best of what the Lightning Network has to offer against its competitor, Bitcoin Cash. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel in advance. Let's begin with the Lightning Wallet's onboarding process. First, you must download the app from the App Store, after which you can send BTC to the wallet. Alternatively, you can verify your identity to top up the wallet with a bank transfer. The wallet will charge a 0.15% fee on all top ups for channel management. At the time of filming, the max deposit amount was 0.097 BTC and I've noticed that this fluctuates on a day to day basis. The fee to transact BTC is unpredictable, but fluctuates on a daily basis depending on network usage. At its worst last year, the average transaction fee was at $55, but in the last month at time of filming, the fee was between $1 and 20 cents. Once your payment has gone through, you cannot spend on the Lightning Network straight away. You have to first wait for one confirmation on the BTC blockchain. This takes 10 minutes on average. After this, however, you are free to go and start spending. Oh man, that was fast. That is fast. That is fast. Unlike previous Lightning mobile wallets where you have to open a channel manually, the wallet of Satoshi does this automatically for you in the back end. This is an improvement over the previously most used Lightning wallet, Eclair, where you had to deposit and wait for one confirmation, then manually open a channel with the merchant, and then wait for three confirmations before you could do any spending. This whole process took me about 50 minutes, but the wallet of Satoshi has managed to reduce that down to 10 minutes. It's unbelievable. Now, on to spending. The user interface is simple and allows you to simply press one button to scan the merchant payment request. After this, a confirmation window appears so that you can review the payment before sending it on. If the transaction routing on the Lightning Network is successful, then the payment is instant and secure. The fees on Lightning are consistently between 0 to 2 Satoshis, basically free. The downside to these Lightning wallets is that you cannot receive Lightning payments. This makes it impossible to perform refunds. My only other gripe with spending is that I cannot actually close the Lightning channel to then send my BTC to another wallet. The wallet is fully custodial, meaning you don't have any access to private keys or any real control over your funds. While I was able to successfully spend at more Lightning merchants online, it's important to note that I didn't buy anything over the cost of a coffee. As the value of purchases increase, there's a higher probability of the transaction failing to route to its destination. These are not peer-to-peer. -peer. Routing on Light Lightning Network is not a solved problem. And that's absolutely right. Routing is not a solved problem. A study from June 2018 found that there was only a 51% success rate for routing payments over $5.50 US. The good news is that I've actually seen a video online of someone using this wallet and making a transaction for a hundred Australian dollars. It is unclear whether this restriction is the reason for the deposit limit on the wallet app itself, but if you want to find out more about routing, I recommend this video. 
It cannot possibly be this bad. I'm sorry, bud. It can. And it is. And it's even worse. It's far worse. More reliability concerns arise due to the fact you have no control over your private keys. You're trusting in the service provider, living room of Satoshi, to maintain their lightning full node and their wallet services. Otherwise, you won't be able to transact or move your money anywhere for that matter. Time to look at the competition. Bitcoin Cash has chosen to allow transactions to remain on Bitcoin's base layer instead of pursuing second layer scaling solutions like the Lightning Network. The onboarding process is as simple as downloading a wallet and then receiving Bitcoin Cash, where actually downloading the wallet is the most time consuming part. After that, you can immediately go and spend it. There's no waiting required. The Bitcoin.com and Yenum wallets offer the best user experience for Bitcoin Cash. While they both have a simple user interface, the Bitcoin.com wallet has more features like the ability to manage multiple accounts. Spending is as simple as scanning the merchant QR payment request before confirming for instant and secure transactions. These are of no concern because they're consistently less than a cent. All the transactions are completely peer-to-peer -peer and you have full access over your private keys, allowing you to move your funds off this wallet to another location if you wish to do so. There are absolutely no limits to how much you can send or receive, and you can even get an immediate refund on your sent transaction or move that straight on to a separate device. In the video, I demonstrate sending the same coins between three devices in immediate succession. Bitcoin Cash is basically 100% reliable. This is due to economic incentives at the heart of the system where miners who maintain and run the network are rewarded for doing so with freshly minted Bitcoins. This will continue on beyond our lifetimes, but when there are no more Bitcoins left to mine, global adoption will have been achieved and miners will be fully sustained by transaction fees alone. There is no possible way to take down every miner around the globe simultaneously unless perhaps there is an EMP attack that affects the entire globe. But then Bitcoin would be the least of your worries. Bitcoin Cash has also proven that on-chain scaling does indeed work. Through increasing the block size, we can allow more and more people around the globe to start using Bitcoin Cash without causing any problems to the existing users. We're at the end of the video and I'm gonna give you my final verdict by summarizing some of the critical points about each user experience. Bitcoin Cash comes out on top here as the clear winner and it was not a difficult decision to make. While the wallet of Satoshi provides a far greater Lightning Network experience than anything else we've seen so far, it does this by sacrificing qualities of Bitcoin which make it an attractive alternative to bank accounts and credit cards. Not only is it not peer-to-peer, -peer, but you are giving complete control over your funds to the service operator, which is completely reminiscent of the current financial system. The inability to perform refunds or even receive Lightning transactions with this wallet puts it at a serious disadvantage even against current mainstream payment methods. The fluctuating BTC fees to top up Lightning and also the routing issue makes it horrendously unreliable. This is in stark contrast to Bitcoin Cash, which is a great alternative to the current financial system, being fast, reliable, having low fees, simple to use and secure. All this while allowing you to have complete sovereignty over your money. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it online. Then subscribe to CoinSpice for more spicy content in the new year.